Hi, today we're going to see how to create a stretch text effect in GIMP. So first, let's create a new image by going to File, New. The image width is 1920 and the height is 1080, press OK. Now make sure the color of the background is black. Now press the minus key on your keyboard to zoom out like this. Now let's take our text tool here. The font type is Verdana Bold and the size is 150. Let's type our word, left click to create a new text box. Here it is. Let's type the word in capital letters here. Like this. Now let's take our alignment tool, left click on it and align it horizontally like this by clicking on this icon here. Take the move tool now, press control while moving the text layer here. Move it up like this. Here it is. And now go to your text layer, this one here, right click on it like this. And now choose text to path here. And now let's hide the text layer here. If you go to your paths tab, as you can see, it's here. Here is the path of the text layer. So now double click on it like this. As you can see, it will create many nodes text, uh, for the text layer here. As you can see, here are they. So now let's go back to our layers tab here. Let's create a new layer here. Click on this icon here. Here it is, fill it with transparency, press OK. Now, as you can see, when we double clicked on the path here, it directly changed to the paths tool to show these path here, these path nodes here. So now in order to select multiple paths here, path nodes here, we need to press the shift key, hold down the shift key and left click on the nodes you want to select here. So press the plus key on your keyboard to zoom, to zoom in, to be more precise, like this, here it is, left key. If you click elsewhere, as you can see, it's all right, it will create another node, just press Ctrl Z to undo your action. So now I'm going to speed up the process, okay, to, to select all the nodes I want. So here I'm almost done. I just have these four nodes here. We select. Here are they. Now I'm going to show you the nodes I have selected. Where are they? So I will press the minus key on my keyboard to zoom out. Here it is on the C, on the O, on the L, O, the R, the F, the U, the N. These are the nodes here, transparent ones, like this. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag a guide here from the left here, paste here, here on the line here. Oh, I didn't place it well, so let's go to image, guides, remove guides. And let's choose another place here, and place it here, like this. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag, left click to drag the paths here, to drag all your selected paths here, as you can see. Now press the minus key on your keyboard to zoom out. Here. And now I'm going to drag them down. As you can see, it snaps to the guides here. Make sure, go to view and make sure the snap to guides here is checked in order to snap to the guides here. 
And now put the foreground color to white here. As you can see, it's already white for me. And here we are, we are on our new transparent layer here, this one. Go to edit here, fill path. And here, check the solid color. It will fill the path with the foreground solid color here. Now check fill like this. If you want to remove all these paths here, just select another tool here like this. And now if you want to remove the guide here, just go to image, guides, remove all guides here. Press the minus key on your keyboard to zoom out like this. So now what are we going to do? We're going to delete this text layer. Let's hide the stretch text. This one here, press the X icon here to delete it. Now let's select the stretch text here. Now let's change the color of the foreground and background colors here. This one here. Let's take the yellow one for the foreground. This one here. And uh, let's take for the background uh, this blue here. This one. Press OK. And now let's select our gradient tool, this one here. We are going to change the gradient here. We're going to take this one here, foreground to background, HSV clockwise hue. For this one, it will take the colors between the foreground and background colors in, in a clockwise direction. As you can see, it will take the yellow, the orange, the red. It will go up here, the pink, purple, blue, and sky blue here. This one, this light blue. Here it is. For the other one, for the counterclockwise, to take the colors, the opposite colors, this one, this one here, the yellow, the green, and the light blue, into the background. So for this one, to take the colors between the foreground and background. So now what we're going to do, we're going to right click on this stretch text here, alpha to selection, to select what's inside our transparent layer here, this one here. It's this white text here. So now we are going to increase our selection here, go to select, grow. We are going to increase it with two pixels here, press OK. And now we are going to trace our gradient. Make sure the shape is linear and the foreground in the name is foreground to background, HSV clockwise. Here, and now let's trace our gradient, this one here, like this. Now press enter to confirm. In order to remove the selection, go to select, none. And now we are going to go to our text layer, this one here, right click, and then new from visible. And now you can hide both layers, the text and the background, and here it is. So I think that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day, and uh, till next time. Bye-bye.